If you, like me, thought you knew everything about After Effects, today I will prove you wrong. Specifically, we will talk about small tips in After Effects that you probably have never heard of. With you, as always, is Motion Ram, and let's dive into After Effects. And the first tip is, for example, if you have two texts and you want to align them to the center, you can simply select them and add a null object. Then just center them. The next tip is toggling the save zone on and off. If you turn it on and off this way, it usually takes a lot of time. For this, you can simply press the quotes on the keyboard and we can quickly toggle the save zone on and off. Also, if we hold shift, we can also enable the grid. And if you press alt and click on the quotes, you can additionally enable another grid. The next tip is quickly changing object values. For example, if you want to change the quick position, doing it this simple way takes a long time and you have to click and drag that slider several times. It can be done more easily. Just hold shift and the speed of value change is increased by 10 times. This also applies to other values such as rotation and scale for example. The next tip is how to use the keyframe assistant correctly. So if you have for example 14 layers and you want to arrange them orderly on the timeline to have them from bottom to top. We select from bottom to top, click keyframe assistant, sequence layers, and then they will be arranged from left to right, bottom to top. And if we want from top to bottom, we select from top to bottom as well. We perform the same actions. And now our layers are arranged from top to bottom. The next problem is quickly centering an object. That is, if we have a square and we see its anchor point is in the center of the composition, but it should be in the center of our object. To do this on Windows, press Ctrl Alt Shift Home and Ctrl O, or rather Ctrl Home, and on Mac, press Command Option FN and the left arrow, and our studio anchor point will be centered and then we press command fen and the left arrow and our object becomes centered in the composition. This is how we can incredibly quickly center our objects. And here's the next trick. For example, we need to select certain shapes. For instance, all except for all. We can select these shapes and simply right click and click on invert selection and all other shapes are selected except for those we selected manually. For example, if you need to select a large number of shapes, you can quickly select a smaller number of shapes that you don't need, and the other mm, part of the shapes will be selected. The next trick is that we can simply zoom in and out of the workspace using a shortcut. We just press where we have a dot and a comma. The dot zooms in slightly, the comma, out. The next trick is that if we want to quickly see what effects we have on our added layer, we simply select it and press the English key E. And this way we can quickly access all our objects to see what has been added to our layer. Also the next trick is very convenient to use when we have a large number of objects. For example we want to quickly see what we have in the workspace. We select any object and press the magic button which is located on the left side of the screen under escape. Just a moment. And our entire workspace becomes full screen. We just press back and it reduces. And also if we want to easily see our layers we select any layer and similarly press this button and we will see if we have an animation, we can press the U key and we will see all our layers and all our animations in full screen mode. Next, this is how we can use Peak Web. 
if we have, for example, two objects, and we want the first object to be exactly in the same position as our first object, then we simply take this first object, hold down shift, and then use peak web. And the object is positioned precisely and exactly in the same exact position with the identical rotation. Furthermore, the subsequent feature. Probably, this is the last one for today. If we have, for example, certain layers linked to zero objects or any object, and there are many of them, and we want to select them all, we can simply select the main layer. Right click, click select children, and all our layers that were attached to this layer will be selected. And that's all for today. I was as always, Motion Ram. Follow me on Instagram as well. And as always, see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.